Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're actually going to be talking a little bit about what combat profession potentially is the best in the game. So I'm still doing Crime Den Raids, of course, leveling this up as well as my Watchmen together, um, which this is why I love the Watchmen combat profession, but it is not, in my opinion, the best combat profession. So I'm going to talk about some of the best as well as which one I think is the worst. Now, before we get started in today's video, I do want to say this does not mean that the combat profession that I think is the worst is actually unusable or un. Uh, uh, you know, not worth doing. It's just that the fact that, uh, you know, the other ones have something that that one does not. So I'm going to start off with the worst to the best. And I think the worst combat profession in the game right now is unfortunately scout. So Hope Forest, if you're doing scout, it's perfectly fine. Like I said, it's not a big deal. The only reason I think it's not the best or why I think it's actually the potentially worst combat profession in the game is because of one, if you actually look down here at the bottom of the combat profession, uh, you can see that Shade, level 435, is the last attackable mob. I do think this will change. They'll add more mobs, maybe higher level mobs. But as of now, from what we know, this is potentially the worst combat profession because 435 is a pretty low number. Because of that, you're not going to be able to get gear drops above that range of 435. With that, you're going to see a lot of people struggling to get you know, 480, 470, 490 gear in this profession. Um, so that's one reason. Another reason is because we don't see anything like Crime Den Raids where you can use your combat in the scout profession um, for really anything outside of the combat. So it doesn't seem like it has another use. It is good because there is some decent mobs in the scout profession that you can kill over there in Hope Forest. But for the most part, scout, in my opinion, is the lowest tier when it comes to combat professions. I do want to talk, though, about the second best because this is going to, in my opinion, be Hope Port. I think Hope Port, sorry, second worst. I think Hope Port is actually the second worst um, when it comes to combat professions. I think you're seeing a lot of people do Hope Port because it's the first profession they get. So they get guard and they're like, okay, you know, I already leveled this. Why not just stick around for a little bit longer? And they love the area. They love the town. It does look like probably the nicest part of the game until you get to Chronopolis. So I do think that, uh, you know, guard is probably second worst. There are some good mobs there, though, that you can kill. And the whole town itself is very nice. You're right by the alchemist as well so if you're doing potions and buying potions. So I think it's a good spot to be as well as the quartermaster right there in town as well. So you can sell your gear. Um, but I do want to talk about these next two because this is definitely going to be, in my opinion, the best two combat professions to level up. And that's going to be the watch person. This is going to be actually number two on the list. So again, the worst one, Hope Forest. Second worst, Hope Port. Third worst, in my opinion, is going to be the watch person. The reason I think it's good is, again, what you're seeing here. The uh, the crime den raids or the, yeah, is that, am I even saying this right? I've been doing it for so long. I actually have to confirm. Um, yeah, it's crime den raids. And uh, it's crazy because this is really, really AFK in a way that this game doesn't really have any AFK activities. You can't just go somewhere, leave your you know computer for three minutes and come back and it's still doing something. Well, depending on what raid you're doing, because some are not as AFK as some, but you can see here, I'm just clicking in the middle and letting these hostile mobs attack me. So it's a very AFK activity that I love to do while I'm editing or, you know, doing things around the house or even working out. I've done this. So this is just one of my favorite combats for sure at the moment, one of my favorite skills. And I'm going to continue to level it up together with the detective. And that's another reason why it's so good, because you can level up detective and watch person at the exact same time. So, again, this is going to be number two in the best combat profession. If we look at the Watchman professions, uh, or sorry, not the professions, but the uh, people that you can actually take out and kill, 433. So, it's actually going to be even lower than the Hope Port in the Hope Forest at 435. So, you're actually going to get lower gear at the very, very, very end than you would at the other two areas, but just by two levels. So, it's not enough to take it out, in my opinion, of that second place spot. Now, next, okay, also I have to say the cape looks pretty sweet. At the very end, when you get the full dragon cape, it looks amazing to me, and I think it's probably one of the better ones. But let's go into what I think is the best combat profession in the game, and I don't see enough people doing this one. It's going to definitely be the Mind of Mantubin with the Mind Fighter. Mind Fighter is unbelievably good, and I don't think people realize this. If you look at the active, uh, really the active mobs you can actually kill, this one stops at 450 with the blob. 450 is nuts. So that is an extra 15 levels of gear that you are going to be potentially getting. That's a massive, massive jump. Remember that obviously with 
higher levels, you're getting less and less rare gear. So you're getting less, uh, you know, blues, purples, and definitely epics. But the chance at the very least to get 450 level gear is insane. So you're only getting that with Mindfighter, and I think that's exactly why it's going to be the number one spot in the best combat professions in the game. Another thing to quickly notice or note is if you look around the map, let me set up this Crime Den Raid real quick, and I'll look around the map for you guys. There's definitely reasons why I think the Mindfighter is going to be one of the best ones as well, and it's because there is great banking. So if you look at the store drift here, it's right by the blob. By the way, the blob is going to be the 450 level, 450 enemy. So it's crazy that you're right by the store drift. Of course, you can only put resources in here, but you're going to get resources from the blob, the wraith. Um, there's potential for the stone stoneworm, obviously. All of these are very, very close to the store drift, and that's going to be very, very useful if you are getting uh, you know, resources that you can't hold in your inventory and you do want to bank them. So it's just a huge deal. Uh, one thing I didn't really note with watch person as well is you can actually buy gear from the watch person um, area, which is Chronopolis. So that's another reason it's up there for me is you have the Bladrix Armory. So even if you aren't getting armor or loot from the Crime Den raids, which you really don't, which is unfortunate, you can go to the Armory. You can actually buy loot if there is any good loot there for you to buy and keep up with your levels. So it's a very, very good thing to do. Uh, another thing I want to quickly note, and this has nothing to do with combat, is make sure to enchant your handcuffs if you are doing Crime Den raids. It'll boost your XP rate while doing these for the detective profession specifically. So, and then another thing to note for, this is, again, detective tip here, unequip your weapons that you don't want to use so that they don't use them in the raid, and you just click into the middle of the floor, and like I said, from there, it should take care of the rest. So, um, that is my order of combat. I think it's a very, very obvious Mindfighter being number one, Chronopolis being number two, Hopeport being number three, and then of course Scout at Hope Forest being number four. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the combat professions, which one you think is the best, which one you think is the worst. There's so much really the details to go into and with factions not really having much of a say on combat quite yet and obviously not having special attacks and things like that, it is hard to know exactly what's the best. Uh, the last thing I actually want to talk about, because I talked about store drifts, but I didn't even talk about teleports. Teleports is a huge deal because you're going to be teleporting back and forth potentially um, if you need to go get uh, you know, potions, if you need to go sell gear. So this is one of the best reasons, again, why the mining uh, area is the best. Because look at this. You have a portal stone. You instantly walk up. You're at the wraiths. So if you want to kill wraiths, you have a portal literally touching the wraiths. You have a portal literally touching the blobs pretty much. Uh, which, again, is going to be that 450 grind to 500, which is going to be the longest and hardest grind of all. So it's just a great place to be on the map, and that's exactly why it's number one. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, turn notifications on, and subscribe to the channel. I have so many more big videos coming that hopefully help you decide on what path to take your character in your account because it's really hard to make your own decisions on what to do, so it's nice to have the information before you get started. Thanks again. I'll see you all in the next one.